gals, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, my name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen, also known as Kimber Kiss here on YouTube. It's like, I don't even know, eight something at night and I'm just now drinking coffee for the day. And damn, this Lionsgate portal has knocked me on my fucking ass. I've been exhausted. I've been stuck to the couch, exhausted, but I've still done a lot. I've still gotten a lot done, but I've been pretty much done So The day of Lionsgate, I literally couldn't move. I was integrating so much and I was so tired. Mm. Let's see what we get today, huh guys and gals? We're gonna do Twin Flame. Twin flame reading, tapping in, seeing what we get. Okay, let's see. Clearing the energy. So I hope everyone's doing really good. How is your lion's gate? Look at that. We'll see what that is in a minute. Oh, geez. Let's see what we get. That's a better shuffle there. These cards are coming up. Pretty interesting, huh? It's in like bars, like music bars or sequences here, like sequence of events. Timing, times of the essence. So I watched parts of two movies today. I watched The Little Princess and I watched The Secret Garden. And not the new Secret Garden and not the super old one, the one in between. It's my favorite one. Um, but yeah, because many messages have been coming through this Lion's Gate. It was literally like I was in a movie. Um, it was so cool. It was literally the most amazing thing ever. And yeah, let's get into this reading without me blabbing too much here. Someone's over analyzing this connection because they're like a perfectionist. See how this love is in the reverse bottom of the deck? That's just because there is love here. There's definitely love here. And this first part that we're reading right now is collective. And then I'm going to dive into divine masculine and divine feminine. After that, if you hear the train during my readings, it's just a divine emphasis from spirit reiterating what that message is that I'm currently speaking on or the card that was pulled. Keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, someone recently had a tower. This could have been like shortly previous but that tower moment is over with now so someone's over analyzing this connection or the perspectives of this connection because they're a perfectionist and they want everything to be in place it's like they're trying to get their finances in order before they even consider this as an option so they're very very realistic um and and this is kind of what's throwing this frequency for a loop or uh, making it feel like, and it just, it feels out of alignment, right? Because this person's energy is a little, it's a little bit focused on kind of like the wrong things. Um, of course you want your finances in order and everything, but like when it comes to love, love is the most important frequency of all. And when two people love each other, they find a way to make it work, right? Attraction in the reverse and support here. Passage. Okay, so this person's really drawn to you. They see you as perfect. Um, they see you as like their wish fulfillment and their happiness that they want to go towards. They just have to get their manifestation energy in order because they're really coming at, from it from a wrong angle. Um, where it's like, I wouldn't say it's evil. I wouldn't say it's like the opposite of love. It's just off kilter from love. Um, and so it, it's showing me they have to get their own energy in order. There's definitely a rite of passage coming up here soon. But it's requiring both of you to have balances. This is the six of wings, which means each of you have to have the three and the three. The balance of the mind, body, and the spirit. 
And so this is your rite of passage right now. This is what we're going into. These are the collective energies. Let's pull one more card and then I'll get into Divine Masculine. They want you to work with geode crystals. They also want you to work with crystal balls. So if you have a crystal ball, um, work with that. Work with that if you have one. Yeah, this person wants union with you. They see you as their princess or queen of gems, pretty much. Because we have consummation here. We have consummation here. And we do have 333. Three, three. So if you've been seeing the number or angel number 333, three, three, that's definitely talking about the accumulation of balance within every facet of your life that's coming into alignment. They see you as the world. They want to hold on to you as if like... It's almost like um, having to distinguish between materialism and a frequency, and they're trying to figure it out. Um, it's like, you know how you try to hold on to money, but th then you understand it's a frequency that's just fully abundant and infinite, and it's like trying to figure that out. That's the process that they're going through right now. I do see an, a link to the uh, pyramids of Egypt, as the pyramids of Giza, as we have the three pyramids right below this angel. I do feel like this person has, whoever I'm reading for, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, has very angelic frequencies attached. They are affected by the moon, very much so. Um, their mind in the past was very, very foggy, as I see most of the clouds on this world pointed towards the past, but now going towards the future is becoming clearer. And I feel like it's because they're turning their head away from the past and now looking into the now, looking into their energy and how they can realign their energy and how they can come back to the sense of themselves. And so that way they can come towards you. The music is pointed towards you. You might be very, very gifted when it comes to music. Singer, dancer, writer. Uh, you might play the flute or you might play some sort of wind instrument. Could be any instrument though. Um, it almost looks like you want to get away from this ability of music, whoever this is for, and like go towards something different. It could be though because one of your planets could be retrograde right now, which is why you're feeling this confusion or feeling like you want to move away from something to go towards something else. Of course, always trust your gut and what it is that you want to do because maybe there's a reason why spirit is calling you away from something that you've always done to go towards something else because it'll actually help this ability in the first place. You never really know when it comes to spirit. Spirit has a very magical and mystical way of surprising you. But I do see this person is drawn to the music that you hold, but you're looking to like put the music aside. But ultimately what's happening is the universe is bringing both these elements together as the trumpets pointed this way and the person's like looking this and this other person's putting the music this way, but looking the same way. They're both facing themselves now. They're facing the music. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> And the music is a common factor that brings them both together. The, the universal song, the universal song of union, the universal tone of music. But um, yeah, so the music, they're facing the music when it comes to themselves and what it is they need to fix or what it is they need to do to regain balance. Wow, that was really hard to crack there. But I feel like that's kind of like how you feel about this person or how you feel about the energy surrounding this connection. Like it's really hard to crack. It's really hard to understand. But that's because spirit doesn't want you to understand it because you're not ready to yet. Because if you were ready to, you'd already understand it. Ah, okay. Wow. Okay. So yeah, this person, I feel like it's the masculine is going to have to gain a new perspective because they're very much so overanalyzing, but they're also having awakenings at this time as they're Third eye is blossoming, but I feel like their third eye, like a lot of them, is already like on fleek. It's already like whew, open. Um, so I feel like they're just over analyzing themselves and they're really having to get clear on their own energy without judging themselves, you know, or using that construct in a way to where it's going to benefit them as a way to, as opposed to like self-sabotage or hindering themselves. Does that make sense? So they're gaining balance with this. They're also tapping into their divine feminine energies as well. And so that's really, really cool. They're gaining a lot of like inspiration from you too, is what I'm getting. Okay. Take that divine feminine, divine masculine. However, it resonates and it doesn't have to be 
a specific gender. It can just be whichever gender or genders are holding those essences or frequencies within their soul. And this can fluctuate at any moment of any day as well. So also keep that perspective in mind. A lot of um, y'all could be going through karmic situations, but this is actually really exciting because it's prepping you. It, it's actually, it's getting you ready for the next thing to come because I feel like something big is like just beyond the corner, if that makes sense. That card wants to come out and so does that one. Someone's definitely obsessed with you because you motivate this person. They're like now so hooked in and drawn to your energy. Yeah, this person looks at you as their motivator, as their ingenue, as their as their inspiration. And they're they're too realistic though about it at the same time. It's almost like they, they see the magic that you hold, but then they like discount it because they are too focused on like realistic day-to-day -day things um also i feel like this person is may be actually fully coming out of this energy as this is in the reverse meaning they're going to start looking more towards the ways that you uh obtain information and i guess receive it within your light body and they're going to start doing the same things because you both are the same soul. So you're teaching this person how to be more imaginative, how to be more inspired. Um, and they're teaching you a way of grounding reality in a sense, in a different light than you would have looked at it before. That's really cool. Okay, respect. In the past, both of you had issues with self-respect is what I'm seeing. Things are getting in alignment right now. Like I keep seeing these bars that are like getting in alignment, getting in alignment. Someone's reevaluating something when it comes to love. Yeah, when it comes to a karmic. Okay, because what happened was this reevaluation card in the reverse came out, pointed direct, directly towards my love sign there. And um, then we have the devil here, which is... Um, any kind of karmic pad patterning, um, person, place, or thing. And this was also pointed towards love and they fell like right overlapping each other, which means they're re-evaluating some sort of addiction or some sort of job or some sort of person. It could be all of it. Um, they're re-evaluating these, these seductive like energies in their field and they're, they're doing their best to change these things and defeat these things, which they will do because they, they really want to go towards you, but there's a lot of doubt there and there's a lot of anxiety surrounding it. And there's a lot of realistic doubt when it comes to their work. But there is an opportunity here. There is an opportunity here that's coming very, very soon. Like I said, it's like right around the corner. They're just really having to let go of this like idealism or perfectionism because literally nothing in life is perfect. And perfectionism in and of itself is just like anything else on this plane of duality it's both a paradox while it's also the truth at the same time because we were already made perfect but to be in uh, doing things on day-to-day -day, uh, spectrum throughout this perfectionism lens is a distortion as well because you're allowed to be human and to make mistakes because that's how you grow. So see the see the paradox there. See how the conundrum. It's just learning to balance. It's learning the the scales. Learning to balance. Okay. Victory over what? Victory and fulfillment. Okay. So there is something coming here. Victory and fulfillment. I feel like this person really sees what it's going to take for them to be fulfilled. They're pointing me right to the conch shell. Very interesting. I do have a conch shell. If you have a conch shell, let me know in the comments below, please. Let me know. Why? Don't ask. <laughs> Just let me know if you do. Um, I might have a message for you here in the future soon around that conch shell. Ten of wings, difficulty, yeah. So they're going to be victorious over a difficulty that they don't believe they'll be victorious over now. 
The reason they even have this vision of victory with a wish fulfillment, that of which I feel is like their whole life and, and the love that they hold with inside of themselves that they want to see reflected back to them, which would be through another person, which would be you, their twin flame, the other half of their soul, their soul in and of itself. But they're having a difficulty seeing this happen in the future, but the fact that they can even envision this means that it's going to happen. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to be envisioned in the first place. And that's how you have to look at any kind of vision that you receive, because even if you don't feel or think that it would come true, it already is, because otherwise you wouldn't have that vision in the first place, right? So it's like a whole new way of looking at wishes, dreams, beliefs, because literally it wouldn't even happen if it wasn't a thing. Romance here. We have romance, creativity when it comes to this romance. Getting out of this analytic perfectionism again here, getting their energy right and moving towards luck. So they're moving towards you. You're their empress and you hold all this creativity that's literally inspiring them. It's shifting their energy. They're coming out of the ways that they always used to be, which is really fucking scary for them. And they have a difficulty with this because now they're having to face themselves. They're having to face the music, but they want to all the same because they want to come out of this energy where they feel like they're self-sabotaging themselves and they want to move towards something that makes them happy. And, they, and that's good luck. And there is good luck coming. So that's really good. We're going to move into divine feminines and then we're going to, what are we going to do then? Then we're going to uh, pull messages that your divine masculine is or isn't communicating at this time thinking doing being let's do divine feminines and i'm just going to shuffle these just a couple times i'm not going to clear the energies for the divine feminine portion because i do feel because we're within the same soul that there's a reason that these messages were provided in the beginning because they're going to stream into this layer of consciousness that I'm going to pull here in a second. And usually I, I clear the energies here, but there's something here. Truth, yeah, truth, justice, and the twin flame number, that of which is 11. There's a card under there, but I'm not pulling it just yet. I want to be surprised. I feel like this kind of is the way your masculine wants to be or the feminine wants to be a surprise. I feel like there's a lot of masculine energies here that hold feminine energies. Stress in the reverse, coming out of stress, you're identifying, there's identifiers here within this reading. See how the masculine was identifying his way of being analytical, his way of seeing things has, he's always seen it, but now seen through the lens of you, which is helping him to identify uh, perhaps shadows or blockages that he had within his mental construct or perception. It was like a limited perception, but now you're kind of opening up that tunnel of vision for them so that way they can see more. There was sorrow in the past for you, Divine Feminines, and it could have been a third party situation as we have the Three of Wings. This person could have chosen someone else or could have left you out in the cold. We have justice though that will come to this because this is a love. Look, under that justice card, the Twin Flame card, it was love. It's in the reverse because we're still working towards union here. We're still working towards union. So we're clearing out blockages that distort this true pure essence of love that is shared between the one soul, that of which is you and your twin, you and your divine masculine, you and your person. Whether this person is a masculine just holds those energies. We have stress in reverse. So we're coming out of that, coming out of that. Let's see. Why was there stress? Because there was opposition when it came to manifestation. Why was there opposition when it came to manifestation? I think it had something to do with a retrograde that was taking place at that time or that will be taking place. And this can be any kind of retrograde. It doesn't have to be just Mercury. I really feel like it's a planet that's within your natal chart. And that's what's affecting those energies. That's what, Or it's some sort of transit in your natal chart, which can be very hard to identify sometimes, like if you're not fully educated or aware on it. 
But if you have an intuitive sense of looking into your natal chart and just seeing where your placements are at this time and just looking at the shifts and kind of integrating the way they look, you will receive messages from your higher self. You don't have to do it that specific way. I am just like to change perspectives of the mind to help you to shift into a higher consciousness and a way of making things applicable for you at this time that are coming through the channel messages for me to you to help you. But you can do it any way. Like you don't have to look at your natal chart. You don't have to even know what is happening in the cosmos. If you feel like there's a blockage for some reason, it could just be anything that is maybe going backwards within your perception or your mind because your mind is wanting to relearn something or reintegrate something. So it could be like a shift of time. It could be a timeline that you're revisiting in order to learn something that you're bringing forth into this new ascended timeline. Any kind of thing like that. Remember, you hold the magic after all. You hold the manifestation abilities after all. You have the way of, within the magic of you and the infinite nature of your soul and the divine manifester that you are, you have the ability to literally shift consciousness to co-create anything that you want at any moment in time right and the fact that you have a visualization of something proves it to be accurate on some dimensional plane or another which means it does already exist in the universe which means that it would not be a thought to begin with which is something that i said prior but i have to reiterate that to get it through your minds to help you to understand and understand and understand because you're outstanding. You're outstanding and instanding at the same time, hence multidimensionality. <laughs> okay. You are a star. Okay, yeah, there's definitely like a fear of being protected or this union being protected. This is that opposition, that swinging of the mind from the right hemisphere to the left, from the left to the right, from the fear to the love, from the love to the fear, going in and out, but you're having to get a level mind. Um, and you're having to really trust that this is protected because like, why else would it be? Like, why else would the divine place anything in your field, whether it be difficult or easy? It would be to enhance and evolve your consciousness. And you're realizing this. Yeah, there's anxiety when it comes to this love. See, there's an anxiety when it comes to this love. Are, will you choose the anxiety or will you choose the love? Will you choose fear or will you choose your fucking power? Like, it's as simple as that. It's just a shift. It's just a belief. It's just, like, as easy as it is to go into a uh, daydream is as easy as it is to shift into your power. Just by simply knowing it and believing it. Believe it before you see it. See it, then believe it. Believe it anyway, <laughs> however you process. There's no right or wrong way. It's, it's up to the individualized practicality of source. We have consummation. Yeah, again, the world. It's like you want this with this person. And it's like now this person's coming out of a cloudy mind, going into a clear mind. But you, Divine Feminines, are coming out of a clear mind, going into a cloudy mind. And I really feel like this is just because of some sort of thing going on in your needle chart at this time, some sort of transit or some sort of planet that's in retrograde that's causing like all these like anxious thoughts and like imaginings that aren't even uh, worth envisioning. You want to keep your vibration high and you want to keep your envisionings, your imaginations and um, anything that you're visualizing to the highest degree of visioning. And I almost said 33. <laughs> So that highest degree, oh, I hope you can still see me, to that highest degree of visualizing it. Gosh, I hope it was still recording. I don't know when it did that. Frustration, sorrow, truth, justice. What am I? Is that the train? Hold on. I think that was just a card. Let's see. For these three energies here, we're going to pull a card from the Lover's Path Tarot. 
what I'm getting is that you had to face the truth of something in your life that's causing you a lot of pain and frustration. But justice and truth will prevail because it always does. I'm just going to shuffle these a bit. And I would really like, okay. Princess of Staves. Princess of Staves. Let's see what this says. This is a different kind of tarot. It is the lover's path. So it doesn't have a romantic theme. And I just want to see what this card says. What I'm getting is that you're going towards your son. And you're battling things from your past in order to move forward. Let's see. What else am I getting? I'm getting like an assurance of self. I'm getting Phoenix energy. I'm getting like standing above, rising above. But let's see. Let's see what this card is. I feel like I've pulled this before. Like I said, this is a newer deck. But I really like it. Princess of Staves, new ideas communications, enthusiasm. The meanings are important communications. The need to listen to inspiration. I think I just said that, right? New inspirations. The need to listen to inspiration. An inexperienced young person who may be very passionate. So my video cut out, which means that part that was cut out wasn't meant to be said. So we're gonna leave it at that. And that's kind of how you have to view the relationship. It's like whatever's meant to be said will, whatever's not at this time won't. And that's as plain as simple as that. Don't go into like, why, why, why? Just let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom. Drink coffee. Mm. Yes, drink coffee. But not at night. Don't do like I do. <laughs> okay. Mermaid tarot, mermaid tarot. feel like someone's slipping away from you but really what they're doing is manifesting you they're the magician here and you're the magician too which is why you're both picking up on these energies at this time it's a very grounded solidified way of fluidly manifesting she's blown into the conch shell which means she's sending out a call someone's sending out a call we got communication this person is also doing divinity work where they're reflecting remember it's a crystal ball but they're reflecting into their birth sign and they're figuring out what it means this person there's some sort of amazingness that's happening here. It's very magical. I'm not saying that there's magic being used whatsoever, but the universe is this magic. It is already this magic. You're getting very grounded in your ideals and ways of being abundant and creating this abundance for yourselves, both of you. And you're learning to be more open with your heart and your emotions, your third eye visions, and what you actually want in your life. So you're both going to be sharing this soon. There's a communication that's going to be happening soon. They're saying it might not be exactly what you thought it to be, meaning the communication in and of itself, but it's leading to further communications that hold importance as well. So keep an open mind with everything right now, especially during this time of Lionsgate. Let's pull... Let's pull... Get organized here, Kim. Let's get organized. So there could be someone that you're leaving soon, or someone that they're leaving soon could be a karmic thing. This could be the universe just like keeping you apart at this time for a divine purpose or reason. Because they want you to tap into your higher powers more. To develop these and know these. What is this card? Reaching out. See? Okay. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. 
someone's going to be reaching out. Expect a call or text from your person of interest. So someone's definitely going to be reaching out. We got communication a bunch of times now. And this could be from your guides too. I mean, your flame is your guide. You both are each other's guides. Let your flame be your guide. Let your flame be your guide. Let your flame be your guide. Don't live in fear. Perfect match, unexpected connection. You need to open your heart and allow this time apart to heal your heart. Someone's going to be reaching out. Someone's reaching out. Let's pull one last final card. Okay. So we have natural evolution. This is let the situation unfold naturally. We have guided steps to great love, follow the path of ascension, and we have memento, a gift from someone special coming. All right, guys and gals, that completes the reading. I will be filming more soon, more Twin Flame readings soon as I'm being guided to do so. Like I said, Lionsgate knocked me on my ass and I'm still integrating a lot. This whole week, like I said, was like a movie. I literally, it was insane what we did for the collective. Me and a bunch of goddesses, a bunch of people, a bunch of beautiful souls. What we did for the collective was nothing less than magic. I love you all so incredibly much. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you are interested in a personal reading for me, they are open at this time. I'm doing personal love readings with the cards, divinely channeled messages from your purses with the little bubbles of the videos that you guys and gals go crazy for on my channel. I'm still offering my Starseed Origins readings, which are super expansive for the soul. One of the best things you can do for yourself in this lifetime as the soul re-remembers and recognizes itself and then expands outwards. There's just so much. And if you're interested in my new timeless readings, they are $45 until Monday the 9th, which I believe is today. Yeah, today's the last day. So, yeah, definitely take advantage of that. They're amazing. There's 10 of them. They're only $45. They're each an hour long. There's like the Mermaid Land, the Lemurian, the Atlantean, the Fairy Land, the Happily Ever After, which is a twin flame timeless reading. It's amazing. They're all amazing. Um, there's also the Muse, the Rainbow Portal, the Diamond Mind, the Ocean Whispers, and Spirit of the Island. So there's 10. Five, the five that I just rambled off were filmed during a Mayan Galactic Activation Portal, and the first five I rambled off were filmed during a strong Syrian Portal. Super activating. Timeless, which means whenever you're drawn to them, the messages are meant for you at that specific moment in time. And each time you go back and watch them, you'll receive different messages, frequencies, encodings, and activations. They're magic. Nothing less than magic. And if you're interested in those, like I said, my Etsy shop link and all of those links will be available in the description box below. Share this video out on your community tabs. Really helps me out a bunch, you guys. Share this video with your friends by hitting that little button with the arrow. Copy the link, text it, DM it, email it to your friends, family members, whoever's going through the Twin Flame journey, as I'm sure they would be more than happy to hear what's going on in their situation. And I do channel directly from source, from the universe, and above and beyond. I feel like Buzz Lightyear. All right. I love you guys so incredibly much. Thank you so much again. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.